Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly clean your windshield. Welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. Let's get in to today's content. What you need for this is a window cleaner, of course, some paper towels, preferably newspaper, but these will work pretty good, and some steel wool. So what you wanna do first is to just, just basically give your windshield a quick cleaning. And uh, I'm here on the bus today. This is our bus we are converting to an RV. All right, so that, that gets the most of it off, uh, the light stuff. But then you want to give it a deep cleaning so it really, uh, you get all of like little bug particles and things like that off. And you can see here where the wiper sits a lot, there's a lot of residue. And we'll talk about the wipers before this video's out as well. But now you really want to get in there and really clean it up. So I'm going to put a good amount so then you take your steel wool and you're gonna clean it again. Now this is four aught steel wool, so it's four zeros. It's very fine. Uh, it's not gonna scratch, or at least in my opinion, in my all the times I've used it, I've never had a problem doing this, and it works fantastic. What this will do is really prep your window for putting a good rain preventative coating on it. But look how much more came off the second time. Any dirt you're seeing now is on the inside of the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one clean. You don't need to see that part of it. Then we're gonna show you one final tip that's often missed when cleaning windshields. That's really all there is to it. A good cleaner, now this here is an auto glass cleaner. But Windex and stuff like that will work perfectly fine. I'll put a link down in the description if it, you're interested in it. Of course, uh, steel wool, that's going to get off those little particles and little things that are really stubborn and uh, some sticky residue and stuff like um, it was left over from the wipers and an old sticker that was here. We got all that off, no problem, using the steel wool. Now, something that's overlooked by most everybody when cleaning their windshield is the wiper blades. So you don't want to use the steel wool on these, but you do want to clean them. Now all you're going to do, let me show you here. You're going to get a clean piece of towel, spray some cleaner on it, bring it down here so you can see it. I'm just going to take it, and basically just clean the blade. Look at that. I just want to get that blade clean of all the residue. Remember, that's going back and forth on the windshield with all the bug guts and everything else and it's getting stuck to your windshield wiper as well so you definitely want to get that clean and get a little more here all right so you can see that's a pretty clean area right there I'll do this wiper again because i felt a lot come off the first time i feel little particles on there and stuff there you go. Now you're always going to get some black. You'll never get the slop because the wiper is black, but you want to get the heavy residue off of that wiper so it's making good contact with your windshield. And when you use it, it's going to wipe away that moisture so you can get a good, clear view when you're driving. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side here real quick. If you want to make sure you have great vision when you're driving during the, in a rainstorm, then make sure you clean your windshield with a good glass cleaner, some good clean paper towels, which are no longer clean, and some steel wool. But most importantly, when you're done with the windshield, don't forget to clean the blade of your wipers so they're making new, fresh, good contact with your glass so it can sweep away any moisture as you're driving so you can have a safer experience on the road. Now that the windows are good and clean, Make sure you come back for the next video where we're going to put two different types of windshield treatment on here that helps also beat up the rain and get it off of your windshield quick. We'll see you in that video. Have a great day. Now, if you're interested in this bus and what we're doing to it, you can swing over to my other channel, Life the Wild Ride, and we are converting this into an RV. It's another whole topic, uh, but that's why it's kind of a mess inside. If you can see in there and stuff from the dash, swing over there. Take a look at what we're doing with this. Have a great day.